so these are before and these are after so you can see the skin still has textures and the skin is still looking smooth hi everyone today here and welcome back to another amazing tutorial and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to retain skin texture when retouching an image or rather how to get more skin texture when retouching an image so let's get started so i'm going to be using this image right here and this one right here the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate my layer and i'll just remove the blemishes i usually remove my blemishes after i run my progress separation action but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to remove the blemishes right now before i start because this video is not really about removing blemishes it's about retaining skin texture so to remove my blemishes i'm just going to pick my close stamp tool and i'm going to be fast about this i'll just put alternates to sample and just brush and i'm going to do this for the whole of the blemishes and once i'm done i'll get back to you guys so i've successfully removed the blemishes on this model skin so let's see the before and the after the reason why a lot of photographers don't have texture on their skin is because once they remove the blemishes the next thing they're going to do they'll just create a new layer so when they create a new layer they'll just pick their mixer brush to zoom into the image and start brushing on the image like this without doing full color separation and i'm going to brush with this technique for the whole image so you can see the effect and how smooth this image is going to look like and once i'm done i'll get back to you guys because i really want to explain this and i want you guys to see the difference i'm going to brush in my usual way i'm going to take my time to brush this image with this technique so that you can see the before and the after we are done now let's see the before and after so these are before and these are after you can see how smooth this image is a lot of photographers i've seen pictures online who just retouch their image like this and they just post it online their image will be too smooth so if you are watching this video and you fall under this category stop retouching your image like this even if i add sharpness to this image we are still not going to get the real skin texture and the image is not going to look good it's not the best way to retouch an image and you are not going to have textures on your image after retouching so i'm going to explain this other example using focus separation since this layer one i've already removed the blemishes so i'm just going to du duplicate my background layer again by clicking on ctrl j and bring it on top of this layer one because i want my blemishes to be back on so if i turn this layer one off my blemishes are no longer there so if i turn it on my blemishes are here now i want to explain now using focus separation so i'll just show my focus separation action the reason why a lot of photographers don't have texture on their image after retouching is because of this Gaussian blur radius right here and this plays an important role in focus separation I have a video on how to know the right focus separation and I'll be doing an updated video about that because I've learned something new I'm going to share it with you guys very soon so if you're retouching a sharp image like this and a headshot like this make sure you use a higher number like, like 9 or 10 to get more texture on the skin because if you use a lower number like five or six or four or three the image is going to be too smooth and it's going to be left with just a little bit of texture and the reason why even if i use five for this image the reason why this image is still going to look okay is because the image is sharp naturally the image is sharp so even if i use five i'm still going to see a little bit of texture but if your image is not sharp and you use five you're not going to see any texture at all let me just use five for this image as an example so you can see what i mean so i'll just pick my radius to about five once i use the radius of five for my um blemishes if i try to remove my blemishes it's still not going to work because the radius is too low because i'm trying to separate the textures and the colors so if i use a radius about five so i'm just going to pick my close stamp tool sample from the close by area and brush on the blemishes to remove them like that so this is how i remove my blemishes i create my focus separation first before i remove my blemishes because i'm using five if i zoom in you can see it's distorting the image because i use a smaller blur radius that was another disadvantage of using a smaller blur radius when you want to retouch headshot like this if i zoom in like this you can see the image is not looking good so let me show you a typical example so let's say i want to get rid of these blemishes right here so if i sample from a close by area and brush like this it's leaving some mark on the image because i'm using a smaller blur radius aside that another disadvantage so once i come to my mixer brush tool to use my mixer brush to smoothen out the, the uh, colors of the image you are going to see this image will be too smooth and there are going to be less texture on the image 
so let me just pick my mixer brush tool and brush now so you can see okay now let's see our before and after these are before and these are after you can see how smooth this image is the image will be too smooth and it will be left with just a little bit of texture so this is what you get if you use a smaller blur radius the, your image will be smooth and will be looking plastic the reason why this image is even like this is because this image is sharp if your image is not as sharp as this you are going to lose a lot of texture on your image let me show you the right way to touch an image and also to retain skin texture so i'll come to this other image right here i'll just duplicate my layer by clicking on ctrl j then i'll run my focus separation again and this time i'm going to be using a radius of 9 so once i use a radius of 9 i'll click on ok so remember for this one we use a radius of about 5 and for this one we're going to be using a radius of 9 so you can see the difference so i'm just going to remove my blemishes just the way i do the first one so i'm going to be fast about it so remember in the first one when we're using our close stamp tool once i sample and brush it's leaving patch on the place which i brush so if i click and brush on this one right now it's not going to be leaving any patch let me just show you so i'll just sample and brush as you can see if i zoom you are not going to see any ma any patch at all it's looking all natural so let me come down here so if i sample and brush sample and brush if i zoom you are going to see it's not leaving any patches it's looking all natural so that's one advantage of using a higher number when doing your focus separation gaussian blur radius okay right now i'm done with the blemishes so these are before and these are after so this time i'm going to, I'm going to use my mixer brush to even out the colors on the skin so i'll just come to my creative tool right here pick my mixer brush tool hide my high texture layer to make the image look blur so once my image is blurry like this i'll just brush according to the shape of the model i'm going to be brushing on my creative tool with my mixer brush so once i'm done you're going to see the difference between using a higher blur radius to retouch a headshot image like this and using a lower blur radius to retouch a headshot image like this so i'm just going to brush according to the shape of the skin okay guys we are done now let's see our before and our after so these are before and these are after so you can see the skin still has textures and the skin is still looking smooth so this is how you retain texture when you're retouching an headshot or a beauty image like this in photoshop make sure you use a higher blur radius don't use a smaller blur radius and also don't just brush with your mixer brush at the beginning like the first example which i gave so guys that'll be all for today's video if you learned something for this video make sure to hit on that like button so that more people can see this video and learn from this video as well I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.